very early in the morning. Fish are having their first feed. And to all my American viewers, yes, this is a cup of tea. As although my teeth would say otherwise, I am an Englishman. Today, I'm going somewhere really, really special. It's got at least 2,000 years of recorded history, possibly more. Uh, and I'm going to try and find some of it. Going out with a friend who I originally built a koi pond for. And he's been good enough to get some permission up there. He's interested in buying a detector. I've got two good detectors. So we're going out on this spectacular land to try and find something very special. Now I've got about, oh, I don't know, seven or eight hours worth of coins and possibly some nice artifacts in here. I'm gonna need to clean this out because I'm hoping I'm gonna fill it with good stuff. Right then, I honestly don't know what's in here myself because I've got such a bad memory. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's quite a lot of coins there. Most of them are just modern trash. That's a very nice buckle that I got on my last hunt. Uh, it's a fish disgorger. I don't really need that. It's a lump of lead. A uh, little lead soldier. Loads of coins. I'll stick those in the tumbler, clean them up. That's empty. Hopefully when I get back, it's gonna be full. Just a quick reminder, if anybody out there has got a channel and they want to put their channel intro at the start of one of my videos, just send me the link. I'll add it just like I did with this video. Ridiculously excited and doing 60-ish. First coin e-track from approximately 8 to 9 inches deep. And it looks like a hairpenny. Judging by the state of it, I would say Georgian. Can't see anything on it. Georgian, possibly Victorian. Another coin for the E-Track. Again, eight, nine inches. Another blank halfpenny. E-Track, I think, yep, coin three. Um, this is reading 1525. Looks like copper. But the interesting thing is... Ah, the interesting thing is, I think it's been gilded at some point. Yeah, it looks like it's been gilded. And the shape of it, that distinctive S shape, looks like it's been a love token. So that's a nice find. Yeah, it looks like an artifact of some sort. Very, um, very brittle. Looks like copper. Uh, I don't know what it's from. Very, it's almost as thin as foil. Possibly is foil, like embossed foil, I don't know. There's an interesting one, that was jumping all over the place as far as the signal goes on the E-Track. And it's a bullet of some sort. I don't know, 303 maybe. Aye, and it's actually got a, something in the end of it. Yeah, that's been fired, or well, it's an, an attempted fire. Possibly a misfire. Now this was from way down there, possibly, oh, looks about eight or nine inches. Yeah, about eight inches. And from there, it looks like we've got another coin for the E-Track. This was reading 1235. Nice little imprint there. Uh, it looks like a farthing. It is, that's, that's the Britannia side. I can't see whose it is, but if I get a date off it, I might be able to tell you. Yeah, it's pretty trashed. I would say it's probably Victorian. Victorian farthing, most likely. Now, this is a really contaminated site. We're getting dodgy signals. This is one of the few clear ones that I've had. It was reading 1244. It's not very deep. Two or three inches, maybe. I'm kind of hoping that it's a coin. Oh, it's not a coin. It's a pram. 
I don't know, that's a badge or something. Baby Lifeline. Possibly some sort of charity badge or something. This one's from maybe six, seven inches deep, reading 1244. Ah, first old penny. Oh, it's two. Very good. Ah, stuck together. What's that one? Bunhead Victorian. And that one's 1897. So that one there will be an old head. A widow head Victoria. So two pennies cracking. Right near the village now. This was another one reading 1244. So I'm anticipating it being a coin, hopefully. Lovely clean signal. Ah, and it's not a coin. At all. Not a coin at all. That gave a, a big signal, that. What was it reading? Uh, on that it was reading 1240 odd or something. So what's that equivalent on this? On yours it would have read 80s. 90, early 90s. Yeah. It's nice grass here as well, you can tell this hasn't been disturbed for a long time. That's 1797, George III, Cartwheel Penny. That's the cartwheel penny quickly cleaned up. You can just see Britannia, 1797. George III. I think when that's cleaned up, it's going to be in pretty good condition. This one's reading 1225. Ah, that's a button. You can feel it on the back there. Nice shiny button. Down about ooh, seven, eight inches. It's quite a deep one. Seems to be a good nine, ten inches down. Uh, another penny. Possibly Victorian. This was a very tricky signal, but it was at a good oh, eight, nine inches again. I appear to have a coin ball here, so I just hope there's a coin in it. Yes, there is indeed. Unless it's a button, it's very small. It's a button. That was a hell of a depth though. Little button. Looks like it's been gilded at one point as well. Nothing on that side, unfortunately. So it was a canny old depth. It was right, just right in the bottom of there. Okay. As I've turned it, as I've turned that out, yeah, that was actually lying on there. I've just missed it with a spade, probably. It sounded like a good signal yeah. as well, like. That's so, definitely a coin, but it's on unreadable. This, this one, it was 84 to 89 on the... Uh, on the deals. On the deals, yeah. First coin, first, first deal. This <laughs> is very good. Thank <laughs> you very much. This was reading 1118, and I've just dragged the spade over, and there's something interesting here. Ah, the bottom of a pull tab. I saw that goldy bit, and I thought, hey, oh, here we go, here we go. Nah. That was reading a very loud 1241 and why and how these things crop up in the middle of fields I do not know. But that's a reflective cat's eye from the middle of a road. I've actually got a few of these in my wall around my garden. When you pull up in the car with the lights on it looks like there's loads of eyes looking at you so that'll go in there. Another one for the collection. Here we go, looks like a little green bottle. It is. About time one of these fellas showed up. A little musket ball. There's another coin here. Ah, there he is. Hi. And it's another. What's that? Two shillings. Another florin. 1966. Last time England won the World Cup. I'm sure that one will be worth something to somebody. And that's Elizabeth II. This looks like a bullet head. Made of lead though. Quite pointy as well. Found bigger ones before, like conical ended big old musket balls. I've never had one like that before. That's another nice find. Here we go, it's what looks like a little silver coin, hopefully. Possibly even a love token. I'm hoping it isn't another button. 
Yeah, it looks like a small hammered. Pretty sure very worn, but it's bent like a love token. So the fact that it's knackered doesn't really matter. It's a love token, so it's got a bit of story behind it. That's a nice find. Thought that one was a pound coin at first, but it's an old sixpence. Sorry, not sixpence. Threepenny bit. The date on that, I think, says 1956. So the 1858 or 1859? Nine, yeah. You cannot see the bust on there. No, I think. but you can see it on the back though. Aye. You can... Just make out, is it Britannia? Or? Aye, you can see that there. Yeah, you can see our shield and that's yeah. spear. I always like finding things with things stamped in them. What I like about that is, well, that's obviously been specifically drilled to make it into like a little keep, keepsake or something, I'll put a little string on it or something. Aye, definitely. This one's reading 1246. It came from approximately 9, 10 inches down with the E-track. No, I don't believe it. No, oh, no, I thought it was another cartwheel penny, but it's a just a Georgian penny. A big old Georgian penny. And judging by the size of that and the design of it, I would say it's probably 1806 to 1809, I think, to stop making these big lads. There's Big George on there. There's Britannia. Well, here we are, a good nine inches deep. And I was just about to fill this in. See all the iron residue around here. There's a big lump of iron here. Underneath the iron, we seem to have a coin. And it's quite a small one as well, so that gave a good old signal at that depth. It's very flat. I don't think I'm going to get any detail off that. It's most likely... George II, George III, slightly misshapen, hapenny. This one was reading 1240, and it looks like a coin on end from, oh dear, I've hit it with a blooming speed, from approximately four or five inches deep. Give a good signal. Uh, it looks like a George III, judging by that raised bust on there. Just see the head there, looking to the right. George III, Hapney. A hammered silver coin, which has been made into a love token. Cat's eye, a pram with a baby sticking out of it, and various projectiles. Well, here's the roundup. These are all Georgian, those ones and that one. Uh, mostly George III, that one's a George II farthing, so that's a cartwheel penny. Penny, half penny, half penny, half penny, half penny, half penny. Half penny. All Georgian coins, a couple of Victorian ones that were stuck together, some Elizabeth II coins, modern muck. I think all those finds, apart from the love token, they'll be going into the tumbler to clean up. I've got a load of other coins to clean up as well, so I might as well do an extra video on that, because there must be I don't know, 50, 60 coins to go in there maybe. Be interesting to see what comes out.
Okay, uh, back to reality. <laughs> there was nothing awe-inspiringly fantastic came up from that hunt, but the love token was a nice touch. I always liked to find them. And the fact that the hammered coin had no real sort of detail on didn't matter. It's still a silver hammered coin. It's been made into the love token, so there's some story behind that that we'll never know about. That's unfortunately the harsh reality of metal detecting. You can be in an excellent area and still not set the world alight with your finds. When you see people on YouTube digging up all sorts of weird and wonderful things, it's all too easy just to think, oh, they're in an excellent site, you know, but quite often there's hours and hours, days and days gone into making that video. There might be a hundred hours worth of metal detecting just to produce a 20 minute video full of great finds. Sometimes you might go out and find pretty much nout, hunt after hunt after hunt, and it might get demoralized. And I'm lucky because I've got sites where I can go and I'll always find a few pre-decimal coins, which keeps the spirits up. But you just have to be in the field to find things. You've got to be out, you've got to be swinging that coil, you've got to be listening for the right tones, and you've got to be digging the iffy targets if you want to find the good stuff. I dug the iffy targets today, some of them came up well, some of the really deep Georgian coins, they were quite iffy. If I didn't dig them, I wouldn't have had half the stuff that I found today. So as I always say, if in doubt, dig it out. Thanks again to everybody that watches the videos. I'm sorry I didn't produce the world's best metal detecting video this time. It fell a little bit short of what I was dreaming about, but it's a lovely sight and I just hope to bring you cracking metal detecting videos in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Okay, uh, back to reality. <laughs> so, so then, how does so then? Now then, here we go, here we go. Nah. When this cover comes off, the pointer under here is going to be as good as new. Woo. Ah, you can run, but you can't hide. History! And the Englishman going, oh bloody hell, here come the Scotsman. Hmm. Well, there was nothing oing. And I hope you're looking forward to it as well. I feel like a, I feel like a four-year-old kid. I really do. Just before Christmas, where's Santa? Ah, loving it. Absolutely loving it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.